10 teams and 20 drivers will be competing in the inaugural FIA Formula E Championship, travelling across the globe to race on circuits built in the natural home of the electric car, the heart of the city. And we begin here in Beijing, a three and a half kilometre circuit using the public roads around the 2008 Olympic Games. Tight chicanes, long straights and 90 degree junctions characterise the circuit which circles the bird's nest and the aquatic centre. The first of the flag after 25 laps of racing will be the first ever Formula E race winner. We're finally here in Beijing. For all of us in the Formula E team, this is a fantastic moment. To be here this weekend racing at this iconic location at the Olympic Park is um, something very special. All the drivers here, the ex Formula E drivers, they are really experienced, but I want the uh, Mayor of Beijing present trophies to hop in. We're not first, you know, we're the first losers. Second is the first loser, so we don't want to be that. We try to fight on the top, we have a very good car, we have to push to, to win this race. It's a tough championship and so many good drivers. I think we just have to keep our heads cool and uh, just try to do the best. I want to take a podium, that's for sure. New technology, you know, it's vision for the future and we wanted to make uh, something with a different energy, which is uh, electricity. And I wish really all the best with all my heart for this uh, new FA championship. This is when it gets serious now. You know, there's a lot of talk about it, there's a lot of excitement and a lot of questions. Was it actually going to happen? And here we are. The cars are all lined up. The lights are coming on and for the first time, we go green in Beijing. And it's a very good start from Nico Prost by the looks of things. The app drivers are coming with him on the way down towards the first corner, but it's Prost who holds the lead into turn number one. Around the outside goes Nick Heidegger. He's got past Karun Chandler because they flash past the exit of the first corner and then up towards the left-hander of turn two. Frank Montani makes a move on his teammate Charles Peak, and Peak's going into the wall almost, not quite. A bit of contact in the middle of the pack. Bruno Senna's out of the race. So we're on board with Sam Bird and that is Montani trying to get past Algoshwari going into the Huayong chicane. And now he's going to look to the outside, to the inside, but Algoshwari is covering his line. And Montani goes to the inside, locks up and gets past. And that's going to allow Sam Bird to get through as well on the exit of 19. Here's Servia going past Nelson Piquet Jr. into the first corner. Takuma Sato is involved as well. So that's Servia taking 10th place away from the Brazilian. Oh, Sam Bird's gone wide, that could give Chandler the opportunity. Now down into the final corner of turn 20, goes to the inside. Sam Bird's going to squeeze him. It really narrows down as we come up here towards this left-hander, but Chandler gets through and is up into sixth place. And the battle for the lead of the race is down to just half a second. Look at this, 25 laps of racing, and the top, what, seven cars are pretty much all in one shot. 8.7 seconds covers the top seven cars at the end of this race. It's closing up nicely here for the for the fans at home watching. I bet Prost was wishing it wasn't right now. <laughs> Two more corners to go now in the FIA Formula E race here in Beijing. There's still just six tenths of a second between first and second, but it looks as though Nico Prost may just have enough. He comes through turn 19, one turn to go. Heidfeld's closing in as they come towards the final corner at turn 20. Is Heidfeld going to fancy closing. a look into He's the last closing. corner of the race? Heidfeld goes to the inside line oh. and they make contact and they're both off. And that's an accident for Nick Heidfeld. He has gone off the circuit. The two of them come together at the final corner, which means Lucas de Grassi is going to take victory in the FIA Formula E race here in Beijing. A dramatic, dramatic end to the race. Sam Bird has been classified in third, second place for Frank Montani, and the race winner, Lucas de Grassi, taking victory in the first ever FIA Formula E race here in Beijing. It feels great to be the first winner in Formula E. Although I have to say the accident in the last corner is something that nobody wants to win this way. I'm very glad that Heidfeld is okay and the car proved to be very safe, first of all, but I'm very happy to, to get this win home. It's good for Stevens, very happy, very proud of the Formula E. Well done, guys. It was an amazing day. Yeah, I think the fans enjoyed it. They've seen some spectacular racing, some of the best drivers in the world and the best teams. And testament to Formula E for putting a, a car out that can withstand that kind of crash. And Thankfully, Nick is okay.